we are live. Boy. And we nah, set it off are live. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Or should I say, hey, what's going on, man? All right, there what up, though, go. everybody? We are live. Look. Kool-Aid's at Summer League. He is in the building. The Piston. You are you are witnessing a Jabari Smith Jr. masterclass right now, Brody. Man, that's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. It's good to see him playing well. But honestly, man, I know a lot of people are probably complain about how the offense might look to some degrees. But, man, I like the Sarah Thompson, bro. Yeah, me too, I like man. Him. I think... I think initially I, I know a lot of people right now are, you know, freaking out and, you know, going, you know, making judgments of who should have been the pick based off of, you know, one, you know, one summer league half. But, you know, important to remember, you know, this is a team that's off the of back. <laughs> yeah, it's summer league. They literally played yesterday. So they're off a of back to back. And the reality of it is this isn't even the opening day roster. Once, once the, once Cade Cunningham's on the court, and they actually have the full complement of players, Monty Williams, Talk NLCA. It, That's when it counts. And I think the thing that I I texted you the big thing that you know that I I'm I'm really taking away from summer league is the biggest priority for the Pistons right now is Jalen Duran and James Wiseman getting the ball in their hands, seeing how those guys play together, and ultimately. How those guys are looking, you know. I, I think why I, I love you know Wiseman's aggression in particular, yeah. and Duran's as well on the offensive end. I would still love to see Duran be more assertive on the defensive end, though. What have been your thoughts so far? Being in the building, seeing the team, ha you know, kind of being able to see the vibes a little bit more in the arena. Yeah, look, man, my my first game um, kind of observations kind of echo what you said. I wanted to see Duran Duran get at least one block or be somebody that could challenge. Uh, I noticed teams that kind of go away from them, but today the Rockets aren't doing that. They're kind of going and attacking our bigs and daring them to make a block. And that's something that they have to get better at, and that's what Summer League is about. Kind of being pushed to your limits. Teams are going to try and attack you in certain ways, especially ones that have NBA kind of talent like Jabari Smith on the Rockets. And, uh, yeah, you want to see them get better. This is about what we like as well as the types of improvements we want to see. Uh, because Troy keeps saying it, internal growth is important. They yeah. kind of sashay their whole kind of free agency approach because of how much they uh, appreciate the draft picks and the young players they have on their squad. So, yeah, you know, you want to see them continue to get better. But come on, man. It's, it's, this is summer league. There's just a certain level of competitiveness in the way that they call the game that's just different in the NBA versus anywhere else. I think the perception that fans have or the expectation of summer league is almost for it to be like an all-star style atmosphere and game where, yeah. where you know, you're having guys actually come in. Uh, it looks like the half is actually about to start Kool-Aid. Yeah. So, it's, 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 it's gone. Yep. So uh, we really can't speak for too long then. Um, but the, uh, the – Yeah, Brandon, Detroit Kool-Aid. Hey, look, we got some people out here. What up, though? What's going on, man? We let, live. Let, let, let me get a Detroit Pistons and a what up, though, man. Hey, it can't be. It can't. What, what is what's your what is your uh, impressions and takeaways from some of these real quick? And I'll let you guys know what he's saying if you can't hear. First time I've been to the summer league. It's a sweet experience. If you have children, it's even better. I'd bring them. If you're anywhere within a few hours of Vegas, just get on the plane. Hey, I appreciate that. And what's your name again? Carlo. Carlo. Hey, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Carlo. He said Vegas has been wonderful. Hey, hey did, were you able to hear him, Sean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I so, was low-key looking at plane tickets before Asar, I mean, before our men went down, man. I mean, I was, you know, man. I was going to try to make it happen. But, man, you know, obviously, you know, it, it's, it's getting into the third quarter now, so I'm not sure how much yeah. longer you want to be live, Kool-Aid. But I think the ultimate thing is – there's still a lot to be optimistic about. I think, you know, Asar, like, I think people, you know, being upset that the ball isn't, you know, that that they're not running plays through him, I think don't have the proper expectations because Asar's whole game is not having to have the ball run through him and being able to right. make plays and still put, contribute to winning basketball. Yep. Yep. Hey, you said it best. 
Look, we're going to try and check in sometime after the game. You all wanted to be able to get on here and check in live from the concourse. Then getting around meeting fans. There's a lot of Pistons fans out here, man. Pistons fans travel well. It's been I forgot halftime was like two minutes, Kool Aid. I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all That's good. what happened think, here. We both forgot I, halftime was not a thing in summer league. <laughs> not at all, bro. Not at all. But it's it's still cool to check in. I'm gonna uh after the game try and get you back on here so that people can talk, we can rock and all of that. Huh? Hey, Wilbur Sports, Wilbur Pistons, and from half court. Detroit in the house. Let's go. Detroit in the house, hey, like baby. It. It's a hot. Is that Tiger? No, no, no. Hey, man, it looks like it, man. No, 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 Come no, no, on now. I'm going to bring my son in. You know, he's wearing the whole thing. Look, y'all need to be here. These boys got it going on. <laughs> I'm just doing this thing down here with y'all guys. I love it. Bro, Pistons fans, I love Bro. it. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I love this more almost. Just sitting down and doing the media part, well, dude. Of the we deal, gotta, gotta, yeah, we gotta, to we gotta get out there next year, man. Because like they literally have, it's literally not just summer league anymore. This is NBA con. Like there, it's literally yeah. NBA oh. convention going on right now. Podcast over here, the experience over there, the two K. Like I'm in the media area where like a lot of people doing their podcasts and stuff. Yeah, we be here. Hey, we have to be here next hey. year, man. Get, yeah, hey, get your game of t- get your game of two K twenty four in for me, okay? Let me. <laughs> Let me know how it feels. <laughs> but all right, y'all. Listen, I'm hey, hey, I'm gonna go watch some summer league. Kool Aid, get yes, back, get, get your ass back in your seat. <laughs> we will talk to you guys after the game. Well, we're Pistons. Heck, Rock check out, it out. Man. Catch y'all later. Let's go. Till next time, y'all. Till next time.